Music is a powerful thing. In fact, I believe that music is arguably one of the most influential art forms ever to exist. The first ever instrument dates back as far as 43,000 years ago. The oldest musical composition is from first century AD. It's been around for millennia. But as we all know, it's not just a thing that once was. People today listen to music, now more than ever. As of June in 2019, 68% of people between 18 and 34 in the United States reported listening to music every day. For what? If it wasn't so influential, why would people still listen? Why would they keep coming back for more? I believe it is because music can be a direct door to the identification and understanding of feelings or emotions, a skill that is so lacking in our day and age. Like whatever music you choose to listen to is a direct indicator of the way that you feel. You can actually identify your emotions through what you put on. A song may even act as a mirror in which a person can see the reflection of their existence. It fills the shoes of many roles, including a metaphor for life. Now, I don't mean to be disrespectful to painting or poetry, and I know that this is very much subjective, but music can influence someone like nothing else can. Music is something that is universally understood. Even if that understanding is not the same for everyone, which it usually isn't, it meets people exactly where they are. It's very much about interpretation. Wherever someone is in their understanding of music, they can still be impacted. For example, I find that when I listen to a song, it's so easy for me personally to become caught up within the way that it is written and fixated on the small details, details that maybe are not so detectable by ears of another. I always listen for the emotions, and not necessarily the ones in the voice of the singer, but the ones within the instruments and the progressions. But this is not the case for everyone. Someone could listen to the same song and appreciate the beautifully written lyrics. The relationship that an individual can have with a specific song is incredible and so unique. There are so many things that someone may personally identify with or relate to in a song, but it's completely different for the next. It's extremely powerful, so much so that whether you're an avid live jazz goer or just a high school student with your headphones in, music can reach anyone and influence the way you think and feel. Not only can music elicit personal emotions within the listener, a certain feeling can even be relayed through the composition of the song, through the personal emotions of the writer. Something I often find myself asking is, how can people just listen to the words of a song? Every song has such a different story that's told through instruments alone. How can people not hear that? How can people listen to a beautifully composed work of art with so many underlying features in the background that incorporates different sounds that makes the song unique and all they hear are the words? How can people listen to something that influences the way they feel or something that resembles so exactly their own existence, it even seems like it could have been written as an autobiography for their own lives and all they hear are the words? The journey that a song brings you along with just its sound is something so worth tapping into. More so, I think that the lyrics have little to do with the effect and influence that music has, but it is every other sound, instrument, or rhythm that makes up the song that has this power. Even a song without words, there can still be a message conveyed or an emotion relayed. Once, I was listening to a song I had never heard before called Keep Me by Elliot Ziegler. This song is comprised of piano alone, no vocals, no other instruments, just piano. And as I was listening to this song, though just, piano, though just piano, I began to cry. This song, with no verbal storyline that could have saddened me, made me deeply sad. Within each note played, I could feel the emotion behind it. I felt the pain of the hands who played it. With each chord sung by the piano, I could hear the sadness, almost pleading. I heard so much within that song, just as much as added lyrics could have told me, if not more. When I mentioned earlier that a song can be a metaphor for a life, I didn't mean this as a result of the words, but that music has so much depth to it, similar to a life. The beat or tempo of a song may describe how someone carries himself as that person walks to the beat of their own drum. The dynamics of a song can speak to the intensity levels of one's life. A crescendo can represent a high or a success, and a decrescendo can represent a low or a failure. A song with the dynamic forte written in can be in representation of an intense, outgoing personality. A piano dynamic within a song can be a metaphor for more shy, timid characteristics. And the most distinct part of the song, the chord progression or the melody, can speak to the uniqueness of one's life. Each person's life creates a unique tune that is only recognizable in their song, like a guitar riff. 
It's the part that makes a song distinguishable, among others. Beyond the composition of music, the sound, of, the sound alone of a song has the same effect. The thundering sound of a bass guitar may imitate anger, as you'd see in a person, or the soft strums of an acoustic guitar can represent peace and calmness, or even an upbeat electronic sound can resemble joy. This is another aspect that I think truly emphasizes the beauty and power of music. As I have mentioned, music is an, is an extremely powerful thing. It truly does mirror the many emotions and parts to a life. But there is another role that music plays which I think deserves some recognition. With this particular part of the speech, I had to take a step back and give it a lot of thought. And if I'm being honest, many steps were taken back in the writing of this speech. My creative process mainly consisted of me sitting in my room with my eyes closed, headphones in, listening to music. And something I already knew, but was emphasized during this creative process is this. We really do turn to music to help orchestrate emotions in our head. At certain points, I found myself frustrated and upset at the writing block in my mind. So I put my computer down, took a breath, and listened to music. Those feelings of frustration and anxiety changed within me. I found myself at peace again. Music has the power to soothe, excite, sadden, anger, make happy, inspire thought, and induce so many more emotions. We look to music to help ride out angry feelings or to bring us a sense of calmness amidst a storm, like I did. As much as music really has the power to influence the way we feel and think without us knowing it, many times we knowingly go to music to change how we feel. Or in some cases, we turn to music to amplify emotions, to feed into the already present feelings. For example, you may feel sad, and then what you do is you find your sad, you, you find your sad playlist, and you put your headphones in, and you bask in your sadness. Or maybe you're feeling angry, so you listen to hard rock from the 80s. It has a different effect on all of us, but it's so special to be able to channel those emotions through a song. Now, I know I'm not a music theorist or anything like that, but I do know that music is a different journey for everyone. No one feels exactly the same way about a song. For one person, it could be a representation of their life and they may relate to it directly. And for another, they may absolutely loathe the song and want to punch themselves in the face whenever they hear it. A song can make one person extremely happy and for another, it can induce deep pain or sadness. Music is just so incredibly influential and the experience is truly unique from one person to the next. Each individual has their own song of life. Each person's life creates a unique melody that is only recognizable in their song. If you think about it, life is really like a guitar riff. Every single one has its little things about it, like different patterns and different notes that make them so distinct and special in that song, very similar to the uniqueness of one's life. Maybe take a moment to think about the guitar riff that your life creates, or think about all that music Think about all the music that is waiting to be appreciated in a way that because of your uniqueness, only you can. Thank you. That was really good. Thank you. Can you add this part on the end of it? Yeah. I appreciate it.